How's the decoy here to push in with it? He's pretending to be the decoy here. I like it. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> Forsaken is sitting at rank 1 in APAC right now, and he is a complete nutcase. You can see already 156 matches overall in this season. And let's just look at these stats, man. They speak for themselves. That headshot is ridiculous. This, the amount of wins here, the amount of kills, just everything. The KD, they're all crazy. The win rate, look at this win rate, 65%. He is insane. And of course, he's doing with the GOAT himself, Jing, most of the time. And this two, I'm telling you, man, it's the most demonic duo you've ever seen. And they're both pretty flexible too, so... BRX, honestly, I'm hyped to see their matches again, man. Looks like they could be dominating. If they keep playing the way they are right now, it's going to be insane. But yeah, today we're going to jump in. We're actually going to watch one of his Yoru games. Only pro player to actually play Yoru, really. Ten's played it once or twice, but Forsaken actually made it work. So today we're going to hop in. And we have, I don't know if we've done a Yoru one before, but we're going to do it anyway. It's a bit of fun. And let's see how he plays it. And I think Yoru's pretty strong right now, so let's go. Alright, so real quick, before we get into it, 85% of you aren't subbed, so if you like watching my content, you want to help me out, please hit the sub button below, and uh, yeah, let's just go. Alright, so I skipped a little bit of this pistol round, most of the video here was muted, so we're going to skip in, nothing happened anyway, don't even worry, we didn't miss anything. But you can see, he's stuck in a 1v2 retake here, we'll see how he has to play this. Yeah, he even says it, he's got really good timing here, pushing onto the site. And he gets one free kill right there, still has a flash too. Does not know where Killjoy is, though. <laughs> Goes long for sure, and he still clears CT, and... There you go. Free. Free pistol around there. He's actually gonna buy a Vandal here. I see how he uses these TPs. He leaves one in the corner on short. Looks like he's gonna play aggressive on long, then. Looks like the pistol for some reason. You can see, when you leave these Euro TPs up like this, you can... He might just play super aggressive here, get some information, and then just TP back, because he's chilling. Has his decoy here. Decoy gives him good info, he just has to back off now. Didn't get to satchel kill somehow. Hey, okay, Jinx card carry. All good, all good. But yeah, he's just he's had a chill around here, but man, Forsaken, he's at rank 1. Jing isn't even Jing isn't even that close. Usually, like a lot of the times when one of them's at rank one, the other one's at rank two. That's what I've noticed. But uh Jing picks up the um eco frags here. Let's see how he play. Oh, going for an aggressive TP here. I like it. With uh he's playing with his rays here. Big, he still has full util pretty much here. This almond smoke kind of hurts their aggression. You see how he you see how he done that by the way? Well we'll rewind it back. He, he tosses out the Yoru clone. And he flashes for the Yoru clone, so they actually like full on think it's him. Pretty cool. Flashing out here and Jin gets a free. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at the amount of util like value he just got there. It's insane. Yoru flashes are honestly pretty good for your teammates as well. Like, you can you can toss them from a while away, so... Don't be afraid. Like, if you see your teammate pushing, just say I can flash for you, you know? I'm telling you, man. Yoru is good. People people still, like... They don't like Yoru. I don't know. Like, if someone sees Yoru and they're like, Yeah, this guy's clearly just throwing the game, but... Honestly, like, he takes a little bit of learning, but... Get a little bit used to him. I don't think he's that complicated, you know what I mean? You just get a little bit used to him. It's a lot of value, man. And this ult is great. It's so good. And if you're ever duoing with the Breach, Jesus. It is absurd, the plays you can make. You can see he's going for the quick rotate TP now. You can change up these TPs so often. You know, you can have it like this, where you just have an instant rotate. Or you can have, like, aggressive TPs. There's so many different options. And you get two of them, you know? What's not to like? And he just goes for the super aggressive peek here. Barely whiffs on that one. Using the decoy a little bit here. Don't die, please don't die. Nice. And he's already back on uh he can already defend B now. What I'm saying, he still has two P two TPs as well. And he's already here for another kill. It's so good, man. I'm telling you. TP's super aggressive. 
Oh my god, I love it, man. He's everywhere. He's actually everywhere on the map at once. It's so good. That's the thing. I think, honestly, like, Yoru really got hard carrying games. Like, because you can be everywhere. And there's so much, there's so much outplay potential now after all the changes. Like, he's, he's pretty fucking strong. <laughs> Doing flashes and then going into menus is strange, though. And he's already out of util now. Uh, I think he forgot to buy a uh, TP. Or maybe he bought a teammate, I'm not sure. Has his ult, but has nothing to combo it with. Nice. It's a big kill by Killjoy. See you later, Mr. Bird. Let's see how they play this. 2v1 here. Should be good, as long as they don't troll it. Nice. I actually like that. You see the way he lets his Killjoy go wide, but he's pretty confident he's not uh, on the left there. Or it's not on the right. So he lets Killjoy make all the noise, and then he plays like an off angle, and he just gets a free kill on the guy. Very nice, very nice. I'm telling you, man, just start playing off angles if you want to kill everyone for free. You don't even need good aim. If you if you just brutally sit in off angles, like you'll kill everyone, man. Off angle, if you're on low ping, especially, just abuse off angles. They they're very good. The super aggro thingy here. <laughs> the jet suit and the key guy. <laughs> Couldn't even hit it. And he a little bit of a little bit of an overheat here. I kinda wanna see him use this ult. He's kinda holding it for a little bit long. For my liking. Like you really wanna just use your ult really fast, especially on this character, because you can just get it up so quick, you know. It's only a seven ult point, so it's not too bad. So retake for the boys here. They're kind of chilling. Surely Breach wins these. I don't think he has time. <laughs> 30 year old young talent could not get it. Oh, you see that? He buys the shorty now with his ult. The shorty play, they gave it back to Yoru. They removed it when they first reworked him, but they gave him back the shorty play. And look at this. You ready for it? See how he combos it with the Breach stun? Oh, it's beautiful, man. It's so good. And he just pops out, doesn't even care that he's stunned, and just one pops the guy in the face. <laughs> but yeah, if you are playing Yoru with a Breach, you can literally walk around like that. Just tell your Breach to look at map, and you can just ping where the guys are. They get stunned. Then you pop out with invis and just shoot them in the face. And it's just free. <laughs> it's very good. Got the TP over towards B now. No decoy here. Sure, where he put it. Or if he just didn't buy it, wouldn't surprise me. Doesn't see anything long here, so he's just gonna play retake on A. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of trolling in the, in the mid round. Ooh. Two of his teammates dead here. He needs to kind of make a big play. This guy should be dead. Nice. Huge. He's got his kill now, so he's kind of pulling it back. He's pretty sure there's a guy lurking up A here. Yeah, you can hear the bomb plant now. If you can pick one here. Nice, man. Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh no. <laughs> it's okay, that was that was scary, bro. I didn't know what was going on. This breach flash, man. This guy's a, a numpty dumpty, we'll call him. Something like that, anyway. 7-1, though, already on the half. And he's playing it great, man. Just the way he's utilizing this whole kit is so good. Especially on a map like Haven, these rotate TPs are so good, man. Like, you can... It's instant, you know what I mean? It, it's straight... Look at this! Look at this! He is on A! And instantly, he sees nothing. He's on fucking C. That's insane. 
Like, Neon is known for good rotates, but that is ridiculous, you know what I mean? And he gets a kill for it. How is this character bad? I don't I don't know. He's so good. I, I disagree with the, the way people think he's still a troll pick. And he's down C long now, instantly. And the thing is, with his fate... Oh, okay, he trolled. He was cleared. He was cleared. I think he should have not cleared that, to be honest. But, you know what I mean? Like, with these fake TPs added in as well, like, you can, oh, there's so many plays. You can, like, let's say you fake TP, like, aggressively, like, four times or something, and then one time you do actually take that real TP. You know, you kind of, you kind of brainwashed them thinking that it's fake, but now you actually took it, you know what I mean? So they'll, like, half clear it, you know what I mean? They'll be like, ah, oh, he's probably not here, but they'll look anyway, and then you just kill them, because you're actually ready for the fight. Nice, but I killed you right here. Well done. <coughs> Poor Saker, man. He plays, a, he plays on a high sense, but he's accurate with it. Some, some players are just like that. You know what I mean? Some players can break the mold. Like, I would never recommend playing on his sense, but he makes it work. And that's the thing. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cringe. <laughs> he doesn't even- he actually kills no one from it. <laughs> That's unfortunate. He didn't want to come out of the invis because he's seen the guy in their spawn. <laughs> it's so fucking cringe though. <laughs> oh, you can just breach that across the map. Looks like this one might be a loss for the boys. Two bullets and a dream for breach though, hold on. Oh! Get him! Oh, so close. That was almost the craziest play by this guy. Let's see if the goated Killjoy can win this one. He's in playing pretty well, so. We will have to see. Yeah, I did want to make a Jing VOD as well. I feel like it's been a little bit since we made a Jing one, but. Forsaken's at rank one. We, we, you know what I mean. We gotta, we gotta make one. We gotta make one for my boy here. Oh, enemy actually pick up the round here. I thought they'd win it. The breach made some big plays. Leaving his uh, TP here close a long. It's gonna do spam this window. Didn't find anyone here. So much map cover, and he gets another- you see what I'm saying with this, man? It's so strong. And the way he uses that decoy, and he flashes out for the decoy, so it's pretty- like, for the enemy, you kind of have to shoot it, you know what I mean? It, like, it's too- it's too likely to be real that you can't not shoot it. Whereas if you just toss a decoy, you know, it's like, ah, uh, it's up in the air with it. Wow. What? Can you get another one off this? That's insane. He TP's in behind the lockdown. They're actually going on A. Oh, he's going to go for the flank here, is he? He's taking a little bit long here, though, no? I think he expects one long, maybe. He's afraid of being heard. Yes. You heard him? He doesn't get it, though. How I mix out? Uh, did he make sound? I didn't hear it. My volume is too low. Am I losing now, actually? Which gets the flash? Nice. He must have made a sound. Yeah, he must have made a sound when he dropped down or something, I'm not sure. Unfortunate, though. Big flash, but they just don't care at all. <laughs> You can get so creative with these flashes as well. Like, you can toss them super high in the sky. I know a couple people have, like, flash lineups for Yoru. Which I think is a little bit too cringe for me, but they're pretty good. You can get very creative. You can bounce off a lot of stuff. 9-3. It's a scary one. That's a scary half. And Yoru's pistol buy is pretty strong as well. You can, like... You can go with the classic... Plus, 
decoy plus um thingy or you can go frenzy decoy flash like he's doing now or you can just go with a ghost and a flash a lot of options and the decoy is very good on pistol he's actually flashing for jing here by the looks of it oh he tps up okay did he do that pre-ran i want to check that after this i didn't see it very very interesting entry though you see how different this gameplay is man yours is a very different character Five bullets here. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> He's confused on how Jing how Jing plays the frenzy so good. Yeah, I can I'm gonna rewind this one. When did he throw this TP? Let's see this. He wants the he wants a glitch pop frenzy. He actually did have a lineup for it. Look at this. Oh, very interesting. The shame though, he, his frenzy isn't as good as uh Mr. Jing's, but I don't think anyone's is. I've never seen a man get more kills with a frenzy than him. But uh, you know, we'll move it on. Still has this crazy TP here. I wonder if it's like a hard lineup or if he's um he's just kind of tossing it. How's a decoy here to push in with it? He's pretending to be the decoy here. I like it. <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! What's the shit back, man? <laughs> He just full fake clones it and runs in and gets a double kill. What the fuck? It worked! It worked! It worked! That's crazy. Oh man. Yoru is funny, bro. Yoru is funny. 11 3 now. They're actually dominating here. <laughs> he's doing it again. <laughs> Killjoy turret shoots him though. If anyone's seen that, then he's revealed. Oh, hello. Ooh. A little bit of whiffage. <laughs> you see that, boys? Even even rank one players do a little bit of whiffing. They're not just aim butters. Ooh. Jing on the 2 HP with a Spectre, and he's gone. 11-4. He's doing this every time. They're just smashing A here, no fucks. They just want to fight people. Going for this crazy flash over the top, and he actually fakes it this time. He's got another one. I think he just kind of knows the, um, knows kind of how the TP bounces and works and stuff. Surely, surely, surely pops off from here. No, he, he like half commits the running gun there. That was bad. Unfortunate. If you start with the running gun, you got to commit with it. You know what I mean? Because if you don't, your gun recoil is all fucked and it's just weird. My boy Killjoy here is demolished. Jing with a rocket and a satchel. Oh! I'm clean with it. Oh my. He stuck his ass in his face. Just to show he shit on him. That's crazy. Still wild with these entries. Oh, you fucked it up, for Lucky. Still has this other one here. He goes for it, actually, and he gets help from the CP. Oh my god. You see, they have to clear it. 
I don't know what that ult was, but it was crazy. No. Oh, four skies on a 1v3. Let's see. Oh, and a pop and sling to finish it off, man. What a monster game, actually. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Jing is man. Hold on. Baby Jason. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Hold on. It's getting weird now. I'm gonna give that up. Look at that match history, though. That's that's Jinx. Look at Jinx. Jinx is so good. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, boys, that's gonna be the video. Go spam some Yoru and go throw some games because you're probably not gonna be as good as uh, Forsaken, but it'll be pretty funny. So, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, boys. Like, sub, all that stuff. Join the Discord. Follow me on Twitch. And uh, yeah, we'll see you later.